like Craven. Yeah, maybe I'm a snap like Bidman. Another face with a saw don't face him. Blade to the neck, no shaving. Pandora's box damnation. The police can't save him. They always trick when you chase him. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hope you guys enjoyed that a little bit. Uh, there was some more plastic in Urbano with a song called Psycho from No Copyright, oh, no Copyright Sounds. As always, if any of you guys are interested in the music that I play at the beginning of the streams or any of that stuff, all the information is linked down below in the description. But uh, with that being said, the big news for tonight is I finally fixed the loyalty page. I've made it bigger, better, faster, and stronger. I think it looks a lot better. But uh, thank you, Jordan, Alexis, Apex. Howdy, howdy, howdy. I hope you guys are all ready for some more of this wonderful game called Hogwarts Legacy. My goal tonight is to at least get the second curse. Um, I did play a little bit offline just so that way I could build up a little bit of uh, resources. So that way you guys just weren't watching me just run around doing nothing for, you know, hours on end. So, yeah. But thank you guys all for being here, as always. As I, I did uh, change up my character as well, so she's uh, she's a little bit darker. Because, uh, you know, we're going to the dark side of wizardry. I think it'll be a lot of fun. <laughs> Hope you guys are all having a wonderful evening, though. I know I am so far. Ba, 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 ba. Da, 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 da. <laughs> and it's already started. <laughs> All right, let's see. We also have some treasure maps that we have to do. Uh. Let's say you go with that one. Just some of these side quests. The How you doing, Lewis? Welcome, welcome, dude. Yeah, today was a uh, really, really, really busy day. Handy resource 
but did a they got a lot accomplished. So she's always just so excitable. I swear. Da -da 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 -da. I also want to go. Uh, I found another one of those dark arts uh, battle arenas. I want to go tackle that again today. Am I just going clearly away from it? I sure am. Get wrecked, boy. Del Haven. Ended up using my Hogwarts refund money for Sakura because I'm a Satan masochist or something. Gonna get return on too. Nice. That's cool. We got some Thestrals over here. Actually, are any of them special Thestrals? Nope. Poachers. Disrupt the Animagus Reducto cast with the Pulso. Easy enough. I won't go down as easy. Come on. Use your reducto. Paid attention in defense against the dark arts class. Ah. Where's that? Where's that wolf at? Who isn't afraid to use the dark? Get wrecked. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. It's eight thirty-seven and have brass to teach. <laughs> it's all good, Delhaven. Have a good day, bro. Alohomora. But thanks for stopping by. To go back and watch what I missed to catch up. Have fun, y'all. <laughs> hey, which one is Biscuit? Oh. Well, you didn't really miss anything right now, Alexis. You back to go enough, shall we? Let's get this collection chest while we're here. Herbology three. Okay. Got only eight minutes. Yeah, right. I just started. <laughs> Where are these other balloons at? I did find out something cool though, is that when you're flowing low to the or flying low to the ground, uh it actually allows you to boost indefinitely as long as you're flying low to the ground. Where is this last balloon? I 
All right. Are you guys seeing it? Oh, pfft. right there. All right, well, I guess my wish was granted because uh, this is another one of those dark arts places, so. Let's see how we do, shall we? Giant purple toads. Revelio. Confringo. All right, well, I guess I can't destroy that. Confringo. I don't think this was Dark Ice, it's just a normal arena. Oh, okay. Well, we're going to do it anyway. Because if it's a normal arena, that's even better. I think maybe I don't know. Oh, it is just a bad arena. Ah. Watch how bad I wreck these fools. Ha ha! Time to teach someone a lesson. Oh, I'm going to enjoy this. Incendio. Ha ha! Time to teach you don't. Really? Miss with that rock. <laughs> the beast is safer now. Oh, come on, man. All right, I'm not doing so good right now. <laughs> that executioner is like laying it to me right now. Whoops. Not going well for death from above. There we go. Wait till Sebastian hears about this. Woo. Howdy, Jordan. How you doing, man? Who goes there? You let go. 
Oh boy. And sorry, I'm sorry I'm not really active in chat right now, just trying to concentrate on this, so. Where's he at? There we go. <sighs> one more wave, one more wave. When I get a big old girl.
hell was that? You wanna come down here and play like a big boy, huh? Oh, okay. All right. Now the genie, hello, hello. Sorry, I was gonna co-op with uh, Casper stream. Oh, good. Uh, my nine-year-old daughter came back from St. Jude's Hospital today, and now the doctor told her three more weeks of bed rest, and then two weeks back to the doctor for a checkup. Nice, dude. Well, congratulations. And a spider popped up under my ground. Underground. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Yeah, there definitely one isn't as good as I normally do, though. And like I said, sorry that I was kind of a little off on chat there, but it was just I was really just trying to con concentrate. Da, 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 da. There's a salesman over here. Let's see if I can get rid of some stuff. See if there's something you need. See this broom, though, man. Jesus Christ. Oh, and I only have that. Okay. Yes, you finally got your broom? Nice, dude. That is what's up. Alright. So they're in the three broomsticks. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oh, sweet, here I come. And I did see that there was a setting that a lot of people have been changing uh, for when you're playing on controller. And I, I definitely think it helps. Oh, my dear Biscuit. Garneth, I've rescued Biscuit. You have... Kind of hard to control with a controller. Oh, is she hurt? Was she frightened? Are you all right? I don't know. It's not so bad. If it weren't for me... Oh, perish the thought. Well, I think it's just because I've kind of gotten used to it. Time. I cannot wait to get her home. Oh, I so miss seeing her dance in the evenings. Such joy. I'm glad she's safe now. I'm sure she'll be happy to go home. Oh, that is a great weight off my mind. Oh, my sweet little biscuit. Maybe my I'm here, but I didn't notice a difference. <laughs> and here is your reward, of course. Well deserved. As I said before, because yeah, I changed like the camera sensitivity and stuff. Wizard kind. You've restored at least because what a lot of people have been saying is that um, biscuit and I can't. Hang on, I'll show you guys. So what a lot of people have been saying is that if you go down here, go to your controller settings, and turn the camera sensitivity all the way up and camera acceleration all the way down, it makes it like so much smoother. And I would probably tend to agree with them. All right, let's see here. Uh, maybe we can use Jomi to uh, find these treasures. <laughs> All right, let's see here. This one? No. No. Yeah, this guy. That's like Frost and Glacio. I just don't know where to find this thing yet. 
Today you learned three more spells. Dude, that's awesome. Congrats, Scott. You haven't played you haven't been feeling well, so you haven't played in the last few days. It looks like you got ahead of you. Oh, I'm sorry, dude. Well, I hope I don't ruin anything for you then. Uh is it this where could this be? Uh, well, this kind of looks like it. And for some reason, YouTube is still doing its thing. I think it's something to do with Opera GX. So I apologize. If it does, like, pause for anything, if you just want to reload the screen, you should be fine. Oh, there's butterflies back here. Come on, butterflies, make up your mind. I still wish we could tame a chicken. Da, da, da. Oh, really? It juked me. Oh, cool. A grab horn statue. That's cool. In the face! This has become Oh wow, that ash that executioner is a very agile. Alright, so it says slow. Oh, it says after they release it. Dang it! Alright, let's try this again. Quite conductive, aren't we? Do you believe the word is get wrecked? Manipulation two. Nice. They're flying drunk. <laughs> You've made a mistake. Ooh, what's this over here? That should have took less time, is all I was saying. I swear, some of these voice actors sound just like Professor Dumbledore. You're the you, what do you think you're doing? You die for that. Oh, what the hell? So, the hunt begins. I see you. Who are you? 
This is your first jewel, is it? <laughs> That's one way to do it. Get some blue flames. What are you up to now? I swear, they definitely don't have a shortage of Moonstone. They give you plenty of it. Let's see what's up your sleeve this time, Merlin. Oh, I hate these with the fireflies. I hate them. This looks intriguing. Where was the where was the last one at? Over here. That's that. Settled. Oh, and by the way, for everybody watching, there is a very, very, very easy achievement that apparently nobody is doing. And I thought it was absolutely hilarious, but it's called Spoiled Milk. And it's the easiest freaking skill, uh, the thing to get to, because all you got to do is use Flipendo on a cow ten times. That's all you got to do. <laughs> I thought it was hilarious. <laughs> Great timing. Yeah, but apparently right now there's only like one percent of players that have unlocked that achievement. I've also gotten sidetracked now because I quit paying attention to this damn map thing. Bye, this game. Have a great time. This game just never ceases to amaze me on how gorgeous it is, though. I should investigate. Hey, was that it? Oh, well, I was gonna say. I've never seen a treasure cove with two chests. That's why it kind of screwed me up. Okay. Didn't even know about it until you said something about it. <laughs> so if we look at the map. As you see right here, it's got like that elongated area, right? Because if we go back to our map. Like, I feel like this is that elongated area so possibly like right here maybe oh and by the way Jomi too if you're still watching uh, I found out that if you fly low like to the ground or whatnot, it allows you to use your boost basically indefinitely.
Oh, you know? Okay. Well, I didn't know, and you didn't tell me. <laughs> Slice a dangling dug bog? <laughs> That's a funny one. Why do I feel like we're in the, like, apart from the Deathly Hallows or something? Who lived here, I wonder? You're the one who was... Expulsion! Incendio! Save the house. You won't know this yet. Flash of inspiration. Tigers! I'm the coward. You're the one running away. See? She was running away. I don't know why she's calling me the coward. Knowing our meat, he's likely studied here. An astronomy table should prove useful once the sun's down. Huh. There we go. Sagittarius. This sounds painful. And there's a side quest here, too. Could it be a Merlin trial? I think we're on the right track here, though. Pavelio. Uh. himself would be proud because this looks like the thing on the mat so what i want to know though is when you're looking at the achievements in the game there's one achievement that says spend or every talent point spent but it doesn't say like is it like do you have a max Revenue. level or Place has seen better days. Oh, and that's the astronomy table. Yeah, because it doesn't say like use every talent point or collect every talent point or reach level cap or anything like that. It literally just says every talent point spent. So I'm just curious, like, how you would go about getting that. There's a statue you need to use Incendia Wand and it would give you a cube. Oh, okay. Certainly looks to be the place. Henrietta's hideaway. Oh, I I guess this is it, huh? Where in Merlin's name am I? Uh, does not look like I have this equipped, so. Incendio. 
There we go. Oh, and of course, more Ashwinders. Have expected company. Wait, is that the hippogriff from my treasure map? Someone messing about. I see you. What? You're the one who uses the dark art. Incendio! What are you, folks? Incendio! Ow, I'm on fire! I've seen you use expel. Oh, they got me. Okay, so now I just have to defeat an enemy with one of these. There we go. I'm just gonna pull her down. Come here. I did it. And an Ashwinder, no less. Oh boy, that was fun. Incendio. Let's see what's behind door number one. And thank you guys so much for 11 likes. This is freaking amazing. Love to see it. Alright, um... Oh, well, shoot. I did not mean to do that potato. Just throwing it out there. Hey, they just keep on coming, huh? Okay, so I've got to. All right. So some way I've got to open this gate. And here's another one with a gate. Yeah. All right. So it looks like I need to come from above on that section. Uh, no. I'd better watch my step here. Oh, what the hell? As soon as she said it, man. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, how the heck do I get out of here now? This is that you need to use incendio on and then we give you a cube, the griffin. Uh, well, I got to get you out of this room now. Uh. Incendio. How the hell do I get out of here? Revelio. Bombarda. Cinder. Fariamus. Incendio. Am I like... Oh. Okay. Oh, come on! Eh. And here's another one of these doors. Repairer. Confringo. Deposer. Oh, God damn it. I don't really know what that did. If it did anything at all. Oh, this is another one of these slidey things bit, huh? I think we're slowly figuring it out. Slowly. Use the map to solve the puzzle. All right, I'll open the map here in a second. All right, Let's see. Yeah, cause see, this is what the map tells me. What up, squirrel? How you doing, bud? All right, so let's go back and oh no, damn it! Oh well, I guess that's not so bad. Okay, let's see. So the map shows I got to do southeast, east, north, and west. So west, north, east, southeast.
see what we've got. Okay. I didn't see it trigger anything. Oh. This must be what all the fuss was about. Oh, there we go. Huh. Thanks, Jomi. I do want to continue exploring this. And even if you jump over it, it's like, no. Fine. There's something I can put on it. You see, we still have the... Oh, wait. Nope, I can't reach it from here. I'm using my brain. All right, have a good night, Apex. I used my brain, Jomi. I used my brain. How you been doing, Squirrel? Hope work is going well for you. The power of the gray matter. <laughs> Every once in a while, I is smart. Okay. Every once in a while. I guess still. Wait a second. Oh. How the hell do I open these? Is this not giving me like any kind of clue to open that? Yeah, I just don't know how to open these doors. Wait a second. Nope. Oh. Okay. Magic. <laughs> Look, you make a full suit of armor. That'd be sick. Okay. 
Yeah, I think I've already explored over there. So inside this room, we have one of these guys. The hell? Alright, so I don't think that did anything. And what's weird... Uh, uh, no? Because you see there's like a... Wait a second. No, because if you see on the map here, look, there's like a, a room or something back there, like a hallway. Incendium. This place legitimately has me confused. Because I feel like there's more in here. It's just I don't know what to do. And I can't go past this place without having something in place for it. Uh, let me see if I can't go find something I can put in there. I don't really need these anymore, so. The rest of momentum on the floor where the walls that suck you in stops that from happening. Oh! Oh, that's so much easier. <laughs> that's that big brain right there. Did I already search here? I did. Okay.
No, no, no. Goodbye. All right, so now we have two more cubes. So one is Leviosa, one is Incendio. We got one cube up there. Crap. I think this is probably the hardest one I've done yet. Okay, so there's one. Huh. Oh, great. Now we have another freaking treasure map. What's this? Some sort of treasure map? This will open another door. Yep, there we go. Another door open. <laughs> How many more? This looks like it might be it. We're back at the beginning. Cool. Yeah, that was it. Nice. That was definitely a lot more involved than I thought it was going to be. All right. Well, I think we'll uh, do the treasures a little bit later. I'm going to go back to the main story. Because we did manage to find some other gear, so that's nice. It'd be nice if I could finally replace this headwear. Ooh, we might actually be able to. Ooh. Make ourselves even more powerful. On our path of becoming the Dark Wizard. And we still got this one we need to replace as well. So we'll head back to Hogwarts, reveal those uh, those pieces that we got, and then continue with the main quest so that way we can try and complete the third trial and get our next unforgivable curse as well. All right, let's see. Heck yeah. So I quit this other piece of gear as well. And both of those were using Unforgivable too.
Upgrade, upgrade. Cool. And put kind of put our other stuff back on. That doesn't matter because we're wearing a hood right now. So Yeah, we'll stick with the all black look. Just for now. To treat all of our animals real quick. Killer bacon. <laughs> All these mofos eaten. And we still gonna name this baby hippogriff, by the way. Eat your darn frog. There we go. I believe that is everybody. At least in this room. The main thing I'm worried about is like the measles and the dairy qual uh, dairy qual. Deary crawls. Go eat. Get that footage, Neasel. Is he gonna eat or what? Okay. Is that everybody? Uh, everybody is nurtured. All right, cool. Next, Joe Mama. <laughs> Because the Thestral Feather, or the Thestral Hair, and all that stuff is, like, really important right now.
And there's Delhaven. <laughs> Cause all the flooper feathers and stuff are the ones we use for like upgrades. Uh, there's still one flooper. He just wants to keep flying away from me. Or she does. Jerk. Come on, get petted. Get petted. Okay. And then I am going to throw some foopers in here. Because I haven't got that yet. It's an achievement for breeding 12 different unique beasts. So. Which I don't think I did the other ones either. Because I don't think I have a male unicorn yet. Or a female unicorn. I need to bring the diesels and the deer calls. Oh, well, I'll do that some other time. Screw it. You can summon them to you. Yeah, yeah. That's what I did for one of the floopers, but he still flew off like a jerk. Oh, she's way far away. Holy crap. Ooh. I can't remember what that unforgivable curse is called, though. The next one that we get. See you, my young friend. Because I think it's the one where we light them on fire. Is Highwing all right? Natty told me what the two of you did. Oh. She sounds like Natty Highwing's needs to get sucker fine. punched. I'm keeping an eye on her. She's safe, Poppy, I promise. Good. Whatever the poachers are up to, I it's will... It's like a name like Poppy. <laughs> you said you had news about the poachers, and that some of it had to do with me. It did. Oh, while they're talking, I need to get this hoodie off. It is too hot. Did you know that they have orders from Victor Rookwood to capture you on sight? Does this have anything to do with Rookwood and Harlow coming for you in the Three Broomsticks after the troll attack? It does, somewhat. But at the moment, I'm more concerned you about... You think it's imperious? Yeah, that, that sounds right. Fair enough. But I hope you'll let me know if I can be of help, especially after what you did for Highwing. Does the name Horntail Hall mean anything to you? Nope, Unless not at all. Not. Why? What is it? The poacher's best kept secret, apparently. The name came up twice, but they never went uh, into uh, detail. Uh, uh. I also over. I've bled for the last couple of days, so I can't really stay, but hope you're having a great stream. Of I'm not whining, I'm explaining. <laughs> Poacher spoke of this. Well, well, welcome, Crafter. I, I hope you get to feeling better, bud. Give us clues as to what they're doing. If you ever meet my gran, this trip never happened. Not to worry, Poppy. If I ever meet your gran, I shall not speak a word of this. I normally tell her everything. She might be my best friend. Last time I said that, I totally she lied. Knows how I feel about the poachers. I think she worries I'll do something ill-advised. Whatever gave her that idea? Howdy, Restless Works. Welcome to the stream, my dude.
I don't believe I've seen you in chat before, so welcome, welcome. The centaur. Tread carefully. Just you, the squirrel. Oh. Let <laughs> you choose to wander here. Please, we don't want any trouble. We're simply passing through. Do you take us for fools? That we do not notice more and Woke up early this morning, can't go back to sleep until 3 30 a.m. Jeez, dude. Approaches. Yeah, man. Have a good night, bro. Get some there. sleep. If anything, we want to see them stopped. I hope for your sake that is true. Our kind is swiftly losing patience with the poachers. And it's like a pathetic channel for the leather away. stuff. Gotcha. Well, see, now the restless makes sense. certainly a charmer that could have gone worse centaurs aren't exactly fans of wizard kind and the poachers aren't helping matters but why would he think that we had anything to do with poachers i did notice the poachers talking with a few villagers in hogsmeade i'm not sure why those jerks Perhaps that's why the centaurs are suspicious Time wow. Wow. Behaves that violently. Hmm. It seems that a lot of these have been more oh aggressive than usual. Here I go lately. killing again. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost like there's something in the water. Oh, that is saved. <laughs> that was perfect timing. Whoever did that, good job. This is odd. What is it? Not entirely sure. But look around. If the poachers were here, perhaps we can find out why. Why wouldn't they take their cages with them when they left? Revelio. All right. Good night, Scott. Have a good night, buddy. Like I said, I hope you get to feeling better or get some sleep. Yeah, drink it up. Jeez. This is goblin metal. Seems out of place in a poacher camp. I should tell Poppy about it. Still smoking. Pelts. Poor beasts. Anything interesting? Oh, uh, yeah. Poaches There's a lots of drinks in camp. Sorts of evidence. But I found something else. It's goblin made. I found goblin armor. Let's keep searching, but carefully. Merlin only knows what's going on here. Or Dumbledore only knows. I don't have a good feeling about this. Let's go. How do goblin and poacher interests align? Uh, Ranrock, because he's a Look, jerk. Down there, definitely poachers. No creatures though. So what are they doing out here? Let's take a closer look. They won't be happy to see us. Should we use disillusionment, or perhaps a less discreet approach? Ah. Hard to say from up here. Let's get a better lay of the land. I'm a thinking less discreet. That's just what I'm thinking. Get wrecked. Merlin, you'd think they were guarding the minister for magic himself. What is going on here? Only one way to find out. I swear, I almost never even use wing and wheel potions anymore. Watch me say that, and then I'm gonna get my butt kicked in the next, like, freaking boss fight. What in Merlin's name? All right, Jomi. Thanks for oh, sticking around, bud. Dragons. There'll be a little bit earlier streams on on the weekends. It's just at night or on Monday or the, during the week. I can only stream in the evenings. Is 
It's a dragon fighting ring. This is Horntel Hall. That's so cool. Now. And the secrecy. No wonder the poachers. Well, thanks again for all your help, Jomi. Likely Hope you get some good rest. Spreading the word, given how crowded it is here. How could they possibly enjoy this? The centaurs have every right to be disgusted with wizard cotton. There must be more dragons here. The poachers are far too greedy to run a fighting ring with only two dragons. We should take advantage of most eyes being in the fight and look around. But be discreet. You especially. It's secretly because Jomi doesn't want to ruin the story for himself. I don't know what Victor was sinking straight in a boat. Dude, the dragons just sitting there fighting. That's so freaking cool. Have you heard from your family? Has even of your brothers come round to our way of thinking? Will they join us? Ah, they say we go too far. The violence isn't going to get us what we want. Someone's going to regret Come here, crap running. So freaking cool. I want to watch. Oh, yeah, look at this view. Come on, Horntail, you got this. You got this. Oh, man. It's too bad we can't get a dragon, man. That'd be so freaking cool. Did you hear those goblins? Ramrock and the poachers must be working together. Poppy, something's going on behind you. Oh, what the? Ah. Uh. What's going on down there? Is that another dragon? Oh my god, it is. They must have only just captured her. She's putting up quite the fight. What a fair one, though. Not with her chained up like that. There's got to be a Let's DLC or something to be a dragon rider in this game. It's got to be. Look, they've got a dragon egg. Hebridean from the looks of it. Can't leave it here. Not with the plans they likely have for it. Apple. Alohomora. I'm getting pretty good at this lot picking, I'm just saying. Not to toot my own horn. <laughs> Ouchie, hot. Hot. All right, I have the egg. Ready. The elements of surprise will only buy us a few seconds. Let's make them count. See, I can't even keep him alive for more than five seconds. Oh my god, this is so awesome! 
You're the one we're looking for, and you brought a friend. I'll check your pockets. One less human to one. What have you done? No! Not your best moment, my friend. Da -da -da. Oh, come on, man. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. Oh, I'm screenshotting the hell out of this. <laughs> and she's just sitting there smiling. <laughs> Whoops. Wrong button. I didn't mean to put it into window mode. That's my bad, guys. Crap. I think I screwed it up now. That was a Hebridean black. I'm guessing the egg we have belongs to that dragon. I don't think she knew they had her. That egg. was so cool, she man. Wouldn't have left without it. <sighs> what now? She didn't exactly leave us a calling card. What up, Jax? I don't know. Nothing about this day was expected. Not the goblins, and definitely not the fighting ring. The last thing I planned on was a dragon. That's egg. right, Jax. Lemonade for all. Just saw us, which cannot be good. We aren't helping ourselves standing here. Let's get to safety. We can sort this out later. You're right. If there's anything the poachers are good at, it's tracking their prey. And right now, we're it. Be careful, won't you? I shall see you back at the castle. Heck no. Yeah, I got, I got so excited to take pictures of that crap and then <laughs> ended up pressing F11 to turn it into windowed mode. <laughs> See, I don't know how to do this flipping thing. Revelio, I learned the transformation spell. After you've completed the required tasks, which I'm certain will prove useful in finishing your field guide, attend my class to learn the new spell. Afterwards, we will discuss your plans. Uh.
Cool, so now I get to learn transformation magic. Okay, collect the field guide page in the underground harbor and collect the field guide page from, from the book on intermediate transfiguration in the library. Interesting. Okay. So it looks like they're both at Hogwarts. Uh, there we go. Need the library. How you doing tonight, Jax? Doing good? Well, that's awesome. Good to hear. I still don't know how to do that bridge puzzle. Revelio. Uh, all righty. Maybe it's up here. Probably made that way more complicated on myself than I have than I should have. Okay, so underground harbor. Funny thing is, I didn't even know this place was here. is the underground harbor. The Grey Lady. I'd say hello, but she doesn't seem particularly social. Revelio. Alright, so there's one. I don't need to skip rocks right now. Money, money, money. Hey, money. Yeah, tomorrow we're having a big old ceremony on my ship. Because <clears throat> we're uh, changing commanding officers tomorrow, so it's going to be pretty cool. We get to get all dressed up and fancy. Jesus Christ. Frickin' peeves, man. I'm honestly surprised I didn't already have this one because I thought I got everything in the, ba the library. That book Professor Weasley asked me to find should be around here somewhere. Looking for the book Intermediate Transfiguration. Oh. Professor Weasley asked me to uh, get something from that book. May I have it? Did she now? Uh I'll give you this book if you humor me by answering a few questions from my quiz. 
quiz. This Some girl. Some call bits of knowledge trivia. I would argue that no knowledge is trivial. Hence, I have created a small quiz just for fun. Oh, I'm going to fail this. The law of the wizarding world. None of the other students would Do I get a Ravenclaw advantage? Times I ask. They all say they have enough with schoolwork. Oh, they don't value Yeah, Jax, you know all about it. Surely you're interested. I'll even start you off with a few of my easiest questions. A quiz sounds like fun. Splendid. Just a few questions and then I'll hand over this book. Let us begin. Before the invention of the golden snitch, which magical creature was used in the game of Quidditch? Oh, great. Uh... The golden snidget. Correct. The I took a guess on that one. <laughs> in 1269 by a wizard named Barbarous Bragg. Sadly, they're thought to be extinct. Next question. Which potion is commonly referred to as liquid luck? Uh... The Ali Hotsey draft. I'm just gonna toot my way out. Was Felix Dang it! Since it makes the drinker temporarily lucky, Felix Felicis is a banned substance in all organized competitions. The tale of the three brothers involves which magical artifacts? Great. Uh, horcruxes. No, the answer ah! is the Deathly Hallows. I'm terrible. To Beedle the Bard, the Deathly Hallows consists of the Elder Wand, the Resurrection Stone, and the Cloak of Invisibility. Which ball in Quidditch is the largest? Quaffle. The Quaffle. That's right. I know that one. <laughs> the through one of three hoops in a Quidditch match, their team is awarded 10 points. True or false? <laughs> Welcome back, Alex. Species. Uh, true. true. Actually, the answer was false. Uh. While Polyjuice Potion can be used to change things such as age or race, it cannot be used to change species. That's BS. Her Hermione turned into a cat. gone on long enough. I'll put the book back on the pedestal now. If you're inclined to test your knowledge again, I have plenty more questions I could ask you. And I won't be giving you any more easy questions either. The next ones will be more difficult. Jerk. I don't have time for a quiz at the moment. Let me know if you change your mind. I put yeah, I decided to, uh, I decided to go okay. into like a little, uh, a dark wizard kind of look because, uh, we were going after the curses, so. Professor Weasley's tasks are complete. I should attend Transfiguration. You know what, actually? Why not? to test your knowledge on some more difficult questions. I'll fail anyway. I'd like to answer more questions. What governmental body directly preceded the Ministry of Magic? Uh, the Wizards that Council. One. That's correct. The Wizards Council disbanded in 1707. Hey, I'm smart. The creation of the International Statute of Wizarding Secrecy, which required a more. Because I'm wondering if she gives us something for this. Cortis enforcement. Which dragon breed is the smallest? Uh, the Iron Belly. The Ukrainian Iron Belly. No, I'm. Dang sorry, it! But the answer is <laughs> the Peruvian Viper Tooth. Though the Viper Tooth is the smallest breed, averaging at around 15 feet in length, it is also the fastest breed. All right, know it all, jeez. Who founded the village of Hogsmeade? Uh, Quincy Hogg. Go with the Hogman. The answer was Hengist of Woodcroft. It is Man, I'm terrible at this. That Hengist used the three broomsticks in as his home. The hide behind was accidentally created by crossbreeding a ghoul with what other magical creature? A demigod. Yes. While yeah. the hide behind has the power of invisibility, those who have seen it have described it as a tall, thin monkey with silver hair. What is the only spell known to repel a lethefold? Oh, great. The Patronus charm. Well done. The only known survivor of a Letherfold attack was a wizard named Flavius Belby, who was on holiday in Papua New Guinea at the time. Wait, wasn't there a Flavius in the regular movies? Or a book? Lavanda Montmorency. That's incorrect. The answer uh. I was looking for was Gamp. One of See the your way out, right, Jax? <laughs> is that food cannot be conjured. 
So it can be summoned. What does the Hogwarts motto translate to? Knowledge is the real magic. No, the answer was Jesus. never tickle a sleeping dragon. In Latin, How many of there the is Hogwarts there? The motto is Draco Dormian's Numquam Titillandus. Which magical creature is the only one known to produce eggs through its mouth? Uh, Dane. The Ashwinder. That's incorrect. The correct answer <laughs> was the rune's paw. God. According to Parcel Mouths, each of the rune's paw's three heads serves a different function. The left head is the planner, the middle is the druid. Dude, how many questions does she have? Critic. Where is Ilvermorny School of Witchcraft and Wizardry located? Oh, well, not Ilvermorny. The Amazon Rainforest. No, Ilvermorny is located <laughs> on Mount Greylock. The American school was founded in the 17th century by Esalt Sayre and James Stewart. What is the most powerful love potion known to wizard kind? Oh, Jesus. Vera Citicerum. Incorrect. The oh, answer my... was Amatentia. Amatentia smells differently to every person. Uh... Are you interested in continuing on to the next round? They're my most no. difficult questions. I don't have time for another quiz at the moment. That's fine. Come and find me if you'd like to try later. I thought that would never end. Whee! My mother would like to speak with me. I believe she has learned about some of what we've been up to. I'm oh, we've already opened that door. Easier on me if you are there. Can we meet at the Three Broomsticks? It may finally be safe since we rescued the dragon from Horntail Hall. Revelio. Hmm. Uh. And we also got to do the uh, room of requirement thing, too. Revelio. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Yes, the transformation spell. <laughs> but first, I'd like you to carry out a couple of tasks which will help you to complete your field guide. Attend my transfiguration class one. Okay, blah, blah, blah. All right, let's see here. So, Dragon Debrief, speak with Natty. I thought it said something about the room of requirement. Let me see. All right, where's the little turd at? There he is. You should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. I'd like to ask you about change. Of course. Okay, well, I guess not. Uh, go back then. Source indeed, your field guide. Yes, yes, yes. Pleased to be included. All right. Go ahead and skip this. Now, you all know what to do.
Well, that was easy. Ian Moth! Beautifully done. You wanted to discuss my progress so far. Spellmaster. I did. You seem to have had no trouble in getting up to speed. Heck no, because I'm a master. Excelling in your schoolwork this year. Thank you, Professor. The extra assignments have been helpful. As I suspect, you don't like my war face, Alex? Now, it seems you've been making excellent use of the opportunities presented by your field guide. Of course, the guide isn't the only measure of success. Deke tells me you captured a unicorn and brought it back to the Room of Requirement. Darn right I did. So rare a beast is an accomplishment of which you can be quite proud. Thank you, Professor. I will say I'm especially impressed with all you've I accomplished see. in light of the rumors of your extracurricular activities. Was your extended conversation with Mr. Ollivander after you'd obtained your wand or subsequent search of the Owlery connected in any way to Professor Fig? Not at all. I uh, enjoy talking to Mr. Ollivander. <laughs> I'm fascinated by one law, and I've never visited the Owlery. Bit of a mess. <laughs> I see. I admire your penchant for learning, but do you remember that your classwork and field guide are designed to educate you thoroughly. It'll be the end of the year in no time, and you'll want to be well prepared for your OWLs. Just call them owls. Come on. Assessment at that time to ensure that you're ready for your exams. Until then, well done. You are dismissed. Points to Gryffindor. I mean, Ravenclaw. All right. Well, if you guys will give me one second, I just got to use the bathroom real quick, and I will be right back. Something dawned on me about the triptych. Meet me at the Overlook, just north of the Forbidden Forest, and I'll explain. My plan with the helmet failed, but I have another idea. I think we may be able to find what we need at a goblin mine south of Hogwarts. Meet me there, and bring someone who speaks gobbledygook. Mountain Dew's just going right through me. <clears throat> okay. So, let's see what quests we have now. Speak to a meet about the gobbledygook. I think, uh... Let's see... Well, where is it about Sebastian? Oh, there we go. Let's see what challenges we have unlocked here. You know, the top of the class cloak. That's cool. Shoot, yeah, man, we're we're tearing this up. 85 more spiders, two more trolls, seven more mongrels, and 20 more dueling feats. At this rate, I think we're going to 100% this game. Kind of keen to see your next combat. I'm sure it's going to be badass. <laughs> it's like a place right out of a storybook. Yeah, I've definitely, uh, I've definitely tweaked some talent points a little bit here and there. So, oh, what is this? What the heck is this? Uh, 
Okay. Hedge maze. Okay. Pavilion. I'm going to go back because I think I saw a treasure chest. This is my first time ever seeing one of these. Cool. Revelio. That's my first time ever seeing that. All right, back to the task at hand. Anne is getting worse. If there is any chance that the relic from Slytherin's spellbook can help her, I must find it. I came as soon as I could. I've been so distracted by the scriptorium and Slytherin's book that I'd almost forgotten what it was that struck me about that triptych. This is the view. Yeah, I've really got to figure out why YouTube is going retarded with my streams. You know this area well. And while I was waiting for you, I scouted around and discovered an abandoned mine nearby, surrounded by Ranlock's loyalists. Do you think there's a connection to the triptych? I've no idea, but perhaps they're searching it the way they did Brookwood Castle and Isadora's Manor. How do we want to handle this? Eh, loud and proud. We need yeah. to see what they're doing. I say we take them head on. Let's bury some enemies. Very well. And I still have that rune symbol we found on the triptych. If there is a connection, I suspect we'll see that symbol again. After you. I'm a dark wizard with pink hair. What's up? <laughs> so I'm hoping Sebastian will give us our next curse. Hoping. There they are, up ahead. I'll let you lead. <laughs> anyone who tries. Get wrecked. Control two, nice. <laughs> this is going well. We make oh, a duh, because I'm a beast. We do at that. Once again, we could fight our way through or be discreet. Confringo. You won't get away with it. Come on, shoot me again, buddy. Shoot at me again. Come on. Thank you. And the fun is over. Fun is a relative term. <laughs> it is. And that was relatively fun. <laughs> Yeah, I'm only uh, slightly more powerful there, Alex. Only slightly. All right, come on, move out of my way, Sebastian. Jeez. Oh. 
Huh. What do we have up here? You. Rumor is this mine was closed long ago due to an infestation of spiders. How nice. Nothing I haven't seen before. That's the spirit. Oh no, my gear slots are full. Oh crap. All right, so let's go through and destroy some stuff. I didn't realize I was that close. Shit balls. Agreed. It sucks I'm losing out on all this money, but eh. I'm not too terribly worried about it though, because I've I think I've got like fourteen thousand. Oh yeah, there you go. Seventeen thousand. There we go. Clear up a little bit. Freedom delivery completed. <laughs> All right, because I know if I leave to try and sell, um, it's going, it's probably going to fail the mission because I would be leaving Sebastian. For or for worse, we're in. Those goblins in my family worked in the mines at one time or other. Lucas, tell us. All. This mine looks like a tomb. It was closed after accidents were reported. Now I see why. Confringo. And we just call ourselves Freedom Force One. Goblins in these webs. Too disgusting for even a spider. Bam, bam, bam. What? Shoot me. Shoot me. Ah. Sebastian's kind of screwing me here. How many loyalists are in here? Too many. They definitely think there's something here they want. All right. Throw that over there. You see what goodies they have stowed away. So how? Rebellion. Oh, it's way down there. Okay. How are you doing tonight, Alex? I don't think I asked you, and I apologize. It's no wonder spiders give people goosebumps. Could be the hairy legs, or the solar signs, or the fangs, or any number of endearing qualities, really. <laughs> oh, come on, Sebastian. Smashing. Should have thought that hurt. Confringo. 
Ah, this game is just so freaking gorgeous, man. Just watching Wizard Team 6 kill some goblins. <laughs> I like that name. Wizard Team 6. <laughs> oh, a little spitter, huh? So I gotta ignite him when he. Come on, Sebastian, stop! Oh, you fucking mm. jerk! We're making quick work of them. Professor Hecate would be proud. She would at that. Oh. Ranrock's loyalists Lewis. all but declared war. See, there's that frame rate drop again inside these freaking caves. Incendio. Oh, we're just getting all kinds of goodies. Jesus! I didn't even get a chance. Like, Sebastian was just like, nope, I got this, bro. Watch out. <laughs> We've still not seen a single rune symbol. I think we're going to be a bit distracted from runes for a moment. An unwelcome we have another fight on our hands. Why am I not surprised? Bring me a dozen humans to battle. I'll take them all. Run the other way when they see me, humans do. Every time. Oh, yeah? You will regret coming here. Do you find this? Oh, you mother sucker. We're not finished yet. All right, so I got to Nope, wrong one. So how do I do this? Like that, apparently. <laughs> Go. 
Oh, little jerk. Alright, well, let's bring him down here to our level, shall we? We certainly cleared the room. You're not a bad chap for a Slytherin. For a Raven before, you certainly have a lot to learn. Da -da -da -da. Oh, what up, Rob? Matthew, what's up? What's up? Now, He's the Horkin man. Or Orkin man. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> How you doing, Matthew? What do you mean, long time no see? It was just like two days ago. Oh. Hey, where's the... Confringo. Wasn't expecting that. Okay. What do you have there? A journal entry by Isadora. Hopefully it will oh, help ancient you magic. more of this mystery. Sebastian, I think I found something. A canvas piece. Brilliant. Our efforts weren't in vain after all. Still, something about this place feels It's odd. been 80 years. Triptych led us here to find this bit of canvas. We can probably assume that Isadora Morganark was here. She seems to have been everywhere. <coughs> she was using the Undercroft and the cellar beneath oh, the so, Feldcroft. By the way, why would she create this space? And how many of you are going to go see Ant Man this weekend? And ancient magic that no one but you could see. Because Ant Man and the Wasp, Quantum Mania comes out this weekend. Could see traces of ancient magic too. Rackham? I haven't heard his name before. His are some of the memories I've seen. I don't think he and Isadora saw eye to eye on how this magic should be used. Well, this is all rather baffling. Let's take the canvas back to the triptych. Perhaps the answers are there. <laughs> this place is odd, to be sure. But I'm fascinated by uh, it. Now. There we go. And now for the moment of truth. It has to fit. Please tell me you recognize the location in this bit of canvas. The good news is I do, in fact. <laughs> and the bad news? We're in for more trouble. Yeah. I know that coast. Ranrock has taken over a huge mine in the surrounding area. Mar and Ween has suffered for it. It's as bad as Feldcroft's become. Should we head there now? We should wait. Why? All this time, we've been a step behind Ranrock. I may know someone who could help us get ahead. Who is that? A friendly goblin. He wants no part in Ranrock's fight. A friendly goblin? Fighting messed up homeboy's hair. <laughs> no, goblins cursed my sister to shut her up. Said she should be seen and not heard. I do, but not all goblins. Not all goblins what? Have you forgotten Feldcroft? Have you forgotten the mine we just went through? No, Sebastian, I haven't. You're not listening to me. Why would I listen to someone so ignorant? Wow. Perhaps your uncle was right about you. You don't know when to stop. Oh, I do know when to stop. Unbelievable. Well, I think I kind of screwed that one up, huh? All right, so actually, before we do anything else, I need to go sell. Uh, actually, I'm going to stop there again because we got more new gear. So go discover this gear. 
Just turn him into a barrel. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right. So far, it's all worse than what we have. Whereas this one's the same. All right, yep. So let's go sell over in Hogsmeade. That way I can clear out my inventory. It doesn't get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawn. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Well, this will take a second. I'm really wondering what the max level is, though. I think I've only got a few, uh, a, a little bit of money. What do you guys think? <laughs> Just a little bit. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Here you found a bit of treasure in the forest. All right. Back to this main quest. Yes. We get our next curse. Burn all of his hair off. <laughs> Mysterious and a bit unsettling. What to do? You're here. Good. Well, apparently he wasn't Master, that mad at me. That relic you mentioned. Don't think I've forgotten about your goblin friend. I haven't. But I needed to tell you what I've learned. I believe one of Slytherin's students stumbled upon the relic during an assignment to study sarcophagi in this catacomb. From what I read in a report by the student, they weren't permitted to take it with them, so I must assume it's still here. As I mentioned earlier, this relic grants its holder the power to reverse dark magic curses. If it's in this catacomb, I nice. have to find it. For Anne. I need to see her. I'm ready to explore the catacomb. Perhaps we can visit Anne. Catacomb. Perfect. By the way, Ominous has been asking about you. You didn't tell him what we were doing, did you? I didn't. I promise. Good. Ominous would be livid if he knew what we were about to do. Yeah, about to learn another dark curse. I'll be interested to compare what lies inside to what I've read about this catacomb. Yeah, I'm just saying, man, like... I'm, I think I'm pushing now like I'm 35 sure or 40 nervous. hours in this game and it is just, just keeps yet. getting better and better and better and better. At least now we know we're not alone in here. Perhaps that was it. And the rest of the tomb is yeah. insect free. Spiders aren't insects. Don't start. <laughs> for a reason. I'd say opening them all is justified. Confringo. All right. So what is this for? This room is taller than it looks. Oh. That'll be what it's for. Finding a chest in an inconspicuous loft. Brilliant. What up, Picks? 
All right, so we got to launch a transformed enemy. I think it's safe to say he was uh, hurting a little bit there. The world of another spider. I shall sleep I say, I think that was the first time I've heard a spider running around screaming, though. And now we need to pulse out. Watch your step. I nearly slipped there. Now this is the sort of grave room I want to be buried in. Surrounded by grandeur. Grandeur and then some. Even an altar with a pile of bones. Lovely. Bones outside the sacrifice. Seems odd. Uh. Oh, what's up, buddy? Oh, I didn't blow him up. We've made it this far, but clearly we have more to do. How you doing, Pix? Well, sometimes you just gotta crimp finger. Conf I, uh, I can't freaking say it. <laughs> Come on, camera. What am I doing wrong here? Oh, 
Come on, Bones. All right, well, we'll come back to this. I have no idea. I say we'll come back to this. Because I know there's something to do there. I just don't know what to do. There's something here by the altar. Well, as I mentioned, the relic in my reporter was reminded to leave it where it lay, but research must come before my fealty to the rules. Since something about this relic, I was told that those by the chosen by English oak wands have powerful intuition. I believe it. Therefore, when no one was looking, I acted. I conjured two barricades to isolate the relic. Ancestors forgive me, but I used their very bones as the key. I plan to return it, but first I must ready myself for our next assignment, learning the Imperious Curse. The spell is said to serve well against enemies. What did you find? Looks like part of a student's diary. It mentions plans to return for the relic and conjuring barricades using bones. Of course. The student's summary referenced a space beyond the great room, which means this can't be a dead end. How you I doing, Bill? Course, if you want to have a look, let's divide and conquer. You work on sorting out the bone barricades. I'll look around and see what we missed. Hold uh. on to that diary entry. There may be more to it. It does mention something else. It says their next assignment was learning the Imperious Curse. Really? Interesting. We need to focus on moving beyond this room. But let me think for a moment. Of course. I'll start to search for those barricades. Brilliant. There's more to this than even I imagined. Well, Look, bones stacked oddly on either side of this archway. Hmm. Leave no stone unturned. Oh, in this case, no bone. Okay. All right, so now I think we know what to do for that other area now. We're in a tomb. I assume eerie sounds come with the territory. So before we go for that, I want to go back to that other room then. Because now that we saw, now that I've seen that, it makes me think I can do this other one. Can I walk across this now? I can. Dude. 
Leviosa. So what is different about over here then? Revelio. Oh, well, Pretty bone bridge complete. Yeah, that actually happened completely accidental. But I'm just gonna act like I did it on purpose. Yeah, that was totally on purpose. It's totally on purpose. Wonder who all these people are. Um, uh, my enemies. It's a uh, Davy Jones locker. I knew Pirates of the Caribbean. I felt it in my bones. Nice. Aha, uh -huh, very funny. Before we trudge on further, I've just realized something. The student's diary mentions the Imperious Curse. I wouldn't be surprised if we're going to need it here. Oh, it's great. It's unforgivable, but useful when you're outnumbered. Places the victim completely under the caster's control. So... If you'd like to learn Imperio, I can teach you. Oh, jeez. It's probably wise to know the spell. I couldn't agree more. A spell that could save your life shouldn't be unforgivable. You have a lot at stake. You have an ability that evidently no one's seen for centuries. Focus your wand movement. It's not an easy spell to master. Oh, yeah, I'm going to crush it. Crush it. Imperio! Something troubling ahead. Be on your guard. Let's try this out, shall we? <laughs> Got him. It's so pretty. All right. Ooh, we got another matriarch. Get one of these so we can put her face in the ground again. Come on. Come on. That spider is going ham. Whoop ass level increased. <laughs> oh, 
Um, hello? What do we got? What do we got? Alright, that did nothing. Yeah. We got another curse, guys! And gals. So now the only one we have left is Avada Kedavra. This catacomb has suffered decay. Just as the student summary described. I doubt anyone's been here in quite some time. There was nothing in here, right? Oh, there's a chest. But we can't get any wing well potions. Another barricade. Considering how well you did on the Accio. How gracious of you. I try. Revelio. Accio. All right, what the hell? Okay. Let's try this one. And then this one. Nope. That worked. Keep going. Oh, it did? What did it do? Because I'm just going off of these signs. I'll have out a cadaver and mosquito if it gets near me. <laughs> Curse everyone. I know, right? Revelio. All right. Because I'm seeing these symbols on the wall here. So I guess in order to open this one, do that, and then wherever the spiral one is. Yeah, here we go. Alright. Go to your home! Okay. Rebellion. So the next one we need is the Tetris piece over this uh, circle. Shoulders above Revelio. these bones. Nicely done. Uh, so there was one more door, though, like right here. So we got this. I don't know what that is, but. Uh, whoops. We go with that. And then, what was the other one? The circle of spirals. 
Nothing. All right, well, I think that was all the doors, right? Yep. I see why Slytherin's student was so entranced with this place. All right, so we got to do the Imperio again. Descendo. Wand at the ready. There you go. Kill people for me. Oh, what the hell? Okay, apparently that did not work. Plenty of spider fangs. Dead end. Lovely. All that for nothing. Hold on. Don't give up yet. Sebastian, the relic. Look. Holy crap. <laughs> Could it be? Revelia. Troll bogies. Oh, it's stuck in the ground. That sucks. The note and rendition of the relic. It matches. This must be where the student left the relic. I can't believe it. After all this, it lines up. We've really found it. What do you suppose is meant by the dark sacrifice required to realize the relic's potential? I have no idea. But we're here for the relic. Uh, I don't know what to do here. Screw it. I'm willing to ignore what the journal says. We're taking the relic. Agreed. This is meant to be. For Anne's sake, I'm taking it. Let's get to Feldcroft. I must keep this relic secret, especially for my uncle. All right, all right, all right. Oh, no. Oh, we're screwed. Is that ominous? Ominous. The sounds we kept hearing. It was you. You gave me no choice. I had to follow you. Sebastian, please, leave the relic alone. We can find another way to help Anne. I'm sorry, ominous, but I'm taking it. No, you're not. If you won't put it back, then I will. Hold on, both of you. Sebastian, please, take a step back. Fine, but Ominous knows I won't step back from a fight. Can't believe this. How much did you hear? Everything. I heard you encourage Sebastian to take the... Oh man, I'm busted. He knows what he's doing. Sebastian makes things sound easy when they could be impossible or dangerous. We need to stop him. And if nothing will change his mind? Something has to. I need your help. You're right. This seems far riskier than Sebastian realizes. Good. We're agreed. We don't allow him to leave here with the relic. I do think we should talk to him, but I fear we won't stop him from taking the relic. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we negotiate. We allow Sebastian to leave with the relic under one condition. After this, no more. I feel that's what we agreed to in the scriptorium. <laughs> I'm being taken for a fool. You're not, Ominous. This may be the only way to keep your friendship intact. Let's trust him to know what's best. What is he holding but back there? <laughs> if I trust him on this, I'm trusting you too. 
The dark arts seem harmless until it's too late. <sighs> Go then. Leave with the relic. I'll not say a word more. I hope I don't regret this. Sebastian, we're ready. What is it? I haven't changed my mind. Ominous has. Let's go. What? Ominous? I'll explain on the way. Come on. So what do I what do I do here? Because there's a way, to, there's something back there, but I don't. Makes sense to take the relic, otherwise, that was the whole point of the quest. <laughs> Turn him into a barrel and toss him in. Yeah, I don't know how to open this because you can see on the map that there's something there. Remove El Rocco. <laughs> and so what do I do? I don't think I have any spells that could do anything here. Uh, try this. Nope. And I don't have a map. Huh. I don't know. Find your bulldozer. <laughs> I don't know what to do here. So I don't see any like rocks or anything that we can move. Oh, Nima raid. Uh oh. Howdy, Nimas. I don't know. I, I don't know. Ah, screw it. Well, what happened back there? Ominous and I found a compromise. Ominous simply needs a moment with you. And <laughs> How are you doing, Nima? I hope you had a great stream. You this chance, that the relic is too important to ignore. There has to be more to it than that. Tell me. We agreed on what was needed, Sebastian. You have my word. Oh, I am so confused now at this point. Yes. And I did want to worry him all over again. Okay. Hey, did we ever go this way? It doesn't look like we did. Stupid spider. Confringo. 
officially lost at this point totally lost but welcome everybody from Nima stream hello 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 in case you've never been to one of my streams uh i consider myself a variety streamer mostly concentrating in survival rpg and simulator style games and every once in a while just harass Nima. so welcome welcome Wait, we are a little bit further in the game than Nima is. Just a little bit. We just got our second curse. Acknowledge me. That's not like him. He was troubled, Sebastian. Even though we agreed to it all, it's been a lot to take in. I thought he understood. He knew we couldn't give up. All of this is too important for Anne. Game sound is very low. Yeah, I've got to turn down. Because it was extremely loud before. When we get to Feldcroft, I'd rather Anne not know what had to be done to get this relic. She thinks like ominous, but it only upset her. I think I've actually got it set to like 50% volume right now or something. What is it? Smoke. It's like in trouble. They're under attack. Let's hurry. They're about to get toe up from the flow up. Teams, you're out, isn't it? It's a spoilers for yourself all right nima have a good night thank you so much for the raid though did i go up the box no i don't know what you mean by the box Nothing. My sister. Still an unforgivable curse. From that damned book, no doubt. Your father would be ashamed. You've gone too far, Sebastian. Stay away from her. From all of us. <laughs> what did my uh -huh. expect me to do? The Imperious Curse saved Anne's life. That goblin was going to kill her. You did what you had to do. If I have to keep proving that to my uncle, I will. He cannot banish me from my own home. This quest took a lot longer than I thought it was it going might to. It be best to let him calm down a while. And thank you guys so much for the 18 likes, by the way. I can help to ease the tension a bit. You may be right. Very well. Support just never stops with you guys. I love it. While. I'll head back to Hogwarts.
All right, let's go sell this nonsense that we got. Oh, well. Maybe not. What was he thinking? Pardon me, Mr. Sallow. What Sebastian did was inexcusable. You cannot possibly be about to defend him. Of course. Sebastian and I have encountered Ranrock's loyalists before. That goblin would have killed Anne. This family does not resort to using dark magic, even against our enemies. What Sebastian did cannot be undone. That you are defending Sebastian's behavior at all tells me everything I need to know. You are as guilty as he is. What a jerk. Sebastian is to come nowhere near Feldcroft, nowhere near Anne. Unforgivable curses are so named for a reason. If I hear that either of you continues down this path, if either of you uses dark magic, I will notify the headmaster immediately. Yeah, this guy's a jerk. <laughs> Why, Sebastian? I'm not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Uh... All right, well, I guess uh, this guy is asleep. Revelio. What am I doing here? This patrol is breathless. All right. Let me go sell some stuff. And then we'll go. Actually, no, sorry. We'll go to the room of recovery first. So that way we can. Or room of requirement. That way we can discover the unidentified items we have. See if anything is better. And sell the rest. And there we go. <laughs> All right, so none of this was better than what I have. It's only better by four points. Ah, well. Uh, yeah, four points is still something, so. Because then we can uh, enchant it. And then upgrade. Okay. Get all that moonstone. What's up, Trey? Okay, so now we got to go to the Undercroft. Just go there, because I think that's the closest one, I think. Sorry, just responding to a text for work. <sighs> Handy resource 
Good night, Jax. Have a good night, buddy. Thanks for sticking around, though. Uncle. <laughs> news about your uncle and Anne. Well, what did he say? I'm afraid he wants you nowhere near Feldcroft, nor Anne. I had to stop that goblin from killing my sister. He had no right to banish me from my own twin. <sighs> if he thinks banishing me means I'm going to give up on Anne, oh man, he's sorely mistaken. Sebastian's he growing evil, boy. I cannot excuse the use of dark magic in any form. And that if he hears of either of us using it, he'll go straight to Professor Black. Huh? That relic, dark magic or not, is the key to saving Anne. To reverse that curse. I will not lose Anne for good. I should send the crest to Anne. She'll know. And also, for everybody that's new I here, um, the Nothing loyalty page is up at the very top. No it's brand new and, and recreated. Power that relic has. So if you want to use your points to do like jump scares or any of that kind of me. stuff, please feel free. Thank you. I very much appreciate and I'm sure Rob won't mind uh, helping everyone out by getting points if you are new here. I'll send you an owl when I have news. Okay. So now we need to go sell. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Hello there. Thank you again for delivering those potions to Madame Lawing. Saved me a lot of time and trouble. Hey, is that one piece is only one point more than what I have right now, so I'm just gonna sell it. And I think I also have some beasts I, I need to sell as well. Well for now. Oh, come on. <laughs> yep, there it is. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Every time. Oh, Jesus. That immediately got my heart racing. <laughs> All right, where the hell am I going here? All right, so I need to turn around. Is this it right here? Yeah. Come in. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. Oh no, I guess I don't have any I can sell. Okay. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Wait. Does she have phoenix feathers? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts she does you not. to acquire? But I will buy this. Could never go wrong with those. Good choice, I'd say. Now, oh, and that, and that grab horn horn. You be looking to acquire. Cause I don't have oh, those yet. Seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Okay. Uh... Go with this. Hogsmeade, here I come. Oh, it's in Hogwarts. Of course he's going to be in the Astronomy Tower. Oh, 
of course. Freaking nerd. I still don't know where Nima found that bell tower. I still haven't seen that yet. Hello there. Hello, Amit. Do I recall you saying that you speak gobbledygook? I did. I mean, I do. Speak <laughs> it. Is this to do with the goblin I saw you with in Hogsmeade? It is. His name is Lodgok. We could use your help with something. He's waiting for me near a goblin mine. Would you be willing to help? Of course. How exciting. I mean, well, <laughs> would this be dangerous? Just a wee bit. He wants to show me something <clears throat> that involves gobbledygook. If it helps, he's a friend of Serona's. Good to hear. Good to hear. If Serona trusts him, then I feel much better. Lodgok is waiting. Shall we go? Of course. I just want to check the pronunciation of a couple of key terms first. <laughs> so I will meet you there. It's because he don't know. He don't know how to speak his crap. All right. He's all the way over here. How nice to see you, my young friend. But everybody from Nima's channel, uh, how are you guys doing tonight? As I believe I asked before, uh, before you guys jumped in, but is anybody planning on seeing Ant-Man? Because I know the uh, the starting is they start to show the showings tonight. Meeting us. So. Before he arrives, perhaps you could tell me why we're here. Of course. Unfortunately, presenting Ranrock with the helmet of Earthgot did not have the effect I'd hoped. Because he knew the details surrounding its plunder, he presumed I'd had help from a witch or wizard in retrieving it. How else did he expect Goblin Kind to get the helmet back? Yeah. He has no interest in making amends with you. I'm afraid we do not have the luxury of rational expectation when it comes to Ranrock. I also think it's funny, though, because Nima's all brightly colored and stuff, and I went for this <laughs> dark wizard. Renowned metal worker. If we are to work together, I suppose I must tell you more. Not long ago, Ranrock sent me to collect a recently unearthed set of Bragbore's journals. Your theater's been shut down for some time? Oh, that sucks. ...that Bragbore had been commissioned to build for a group of witches and wizards. What do you mean, repositories? Large, magically fortified receptacles crafted from goblin metal. Ranrock recruited others to help me locate the repositories. We were to search anywhere that was connected to five names mentioned in the journals. Rackham, Fitzgerald, Bacar, Morganock, and Rookwood. Rookwood Castle. Oh, man. That is where we began our search. Why does Ranrock care so much about these repositories? He cares about what they contain. For centuries, wizards have refused to share their magical knowledge with goblins. <laughs> Your kind will not even let us carry wands. Thus, many goblins, myself included, have spent our lives mistrusting wizard uh, kind. Mm -hmm. Ranrock was convinced that the repositories contained a magical power that wizards wanted to keep for themselves. He was, is, determined to take it for goblin kind. But he's... Here comes my friend Amit. Probably best to continue our conversation later. Yeah. Greetings, Lord Gok. It is an honor, sir. You speak gobbledygook. <laughs> Enough. Please do not hurting my ears. Was meant to be gobbledygook. I am. Um, well, yes. Perhaps my pronunciation was a bit off. I imagine certain dialects differ. Pronunciation is not the issue. <laughs> I don't recognize that as language. I trust you can read gobbledygook better than you can speak it. I can, Sir Lodcock. Just Lodgok. Thankfully, we only need someone who can decipher written plans, since I cannot join you in the mine. Oh, what a jerk. What written plans? And why can't you come with us? We need some idea of what Ranrock knows or is plotting. I suspect a careless loyalist may have left plans behind. 
And I'm unable to join you because I cannot risk anyone reporting my presence to Ranrock. All you need to do is not be seen. Ooh. Either by the eye above the enchanted door or a loitering loyalist. Great. I'll meet and I can do this. I will await your return. I shall see you soon. Right. Don't wish to be seen, do we? No, boy. The door is looking at us. Let's go. Into the mind's eye. The eye of sorrow. For reality. A real goblin mind. It's even grander than I had expected. I cannot believe I met a goblin. Let's just learn what we can and get out. Look at this lift. Impressive workmanship for so simple a device. Impressive workmanship aside, it's the only way forward. Uh. Elevator down. Clever. I still can't believe we're inside a real goblin mine. Oh man, is this guy gonna talk about this the whole time? Okay. I've read about minds like this. Seeing one is something else altogether. Dude, I am loving the puzzles in this game, though. We need to be careful. As I'm sure you know, not all goblins are as friendly as Lodgok, to say the least. Nothing over here. Remember, don't fart. <laughs> See the human attack. Oh, he saw me. All right. That was a little more than I'm used to. I'll get us through here safely, I'll meet. You have my word. Okay. Oh, we got another one of those doors. We're being watched by a door. Na, 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 na. Okay. I feel like a character from one of the adventure books I read during the summer holidays. This guy. Let's take a look around, Armit. See if we can find any plans. A schemat? I will get to the bottom of what they've been building down here. Uh. Yeah, this thing is cool. Like the dungeons that they did in this game were just so beautifully designed. And each one of them is kind of unique, too. So it's got like its own like twist on every time you enter a dungeon. I really like that. Whoops. If I'm translating this correctly, and I think that I am, they're building something rather large. But what? There must Valia. be more notes around here. 
What could they be building? Uh. Let me go back and go up those stairs because it looks like there was some treasure or something back there. Fascinating to see gobbledygook written uh, in a uh, goblin uh, hand. The flourishes are extraordinary. This guy is such a nerd. Let me know if you see any more plans or schematics. We can't return to Lodgok empty-headed. Wait. Oh, we already went in there. Oops, I broke it in. I broke it in their toy. Oh, it's the same freaking place. <laughs> you don't see me, I'm John Cena. Not letting me pull it. Oh. There we go. Oh, what's going on, Jeremy? Hope this isn't dangerous. Going anywhere with me is dangerous. <laughs> yeah, a lot of time to see, Jeremy. Same with you, player now. And thank you for the like, player now. Another schematic. Revelia going to build. This mine is too small. How do I get up there? Oh, yeah. Stairs will do it. Yeah. Yeah, Jeremy, I checked into my ship and, uh,. I don't know, man. We've just been like super busy on the ship with me getting qualified and all that jazz. So. Here. How have you been, Jeremy? Yeah, that's how those new duty stations are. Yeah, exactly. It's not bad, though. I love the new ship, so it's a lot of fun. I mean, who else can really say that they are like they actively work on a stealth destroyer? Like, I think it's really cool. All 
Alright. Okay. That's not it. I don't know what. Oh, I'm special. Oh, like the Zumwalt? Yeah, it is the Zumwalt. Lumos. Lumos. Devil's snare. Nasty stuff if we're not careful. It's not an entanglement we need right now. <clears throat> yep, that is my new ship. Alex been putting up any balloons lately? <laughs> well, the Zumwalt is basically public knowledge anyway, so... Whoops. Use a mandrake against an enemy. You got it. Like, why can I not zoom in on this guy? Like, what the hell? Explosions. Jeremy, have you uh have you thought about buying this game yet? Or have you already? Alright, so I got another boiler, I guess, that I need to start. Yeah. Okay. You're a bit of a military historian? That's pretty cool, man. I, I, I'm a complete nerd when it comes to that type of stuff, to be honest. Because I love, um, like, looking up, like, all kinds of stuff about, like, different ships and history and major battles and all that stuff. You got it on PS5? You just started playing? Nice.
I'm assuming that activated. Oh, yep, yeah, there it is. Elevator. This is not good. They're building enormous drills. Bigger than this mine could contain. Revelio. Let's get out of here. Anything else in here? Nope. Reordered it, but didn't pick it up at first because I forgot I had ordered it until my roommate reminded me. <laughs> I'm glad you came with me, Amit. Now that we know what they're up to, we can get out of here. Dude, it's totally worth it, though. Because if you haven't played it yet, like, I'm telling you, it's totally freaking worth it. I've been addicted. And I'm pretty sure that people in chat like Rob and Pix and Alex can tell you how addicted I've been. I think I'm up to like 30 or 35 hours in the game, something like that. Oh, wait. Oh, never mind. I just went through that passageway. We're almost out of here, Amit. Look, the lift. A welcome sight indeed. Just do the tutorial and like four of the missions, but I can't play as much work. Keeps me busy as hell. Yeah, it's understandable. I don't play as nearly as much as I, you, I want to, but. Um, can we please talk about that? Wasn't so bad, was it? It was. It really was. <laughs> I'm afraid I've had enough adventure for one day. For a lifetime, perhaps. His eyes cry with blood from sleep loss. <laughs> I couldn't have done it without you. Now, if you don't mind, I'd like to have a word with Lord Cock. Understood. In that regard, you're probably not wrong, Rob. Your goblin secrets are safe with me, but I get to write the book about this escapade someday. Without further ado, at you. Did he just sneeze at me? They're building enormous drills. We found their plans. Ranrock must be searching for the repositories. I fear you are correct. Other than Rookwood Castle, however, I do not know where else he plans to search. I've been wondering about something else you said before we entered the mine. Yes? <clears throat> if you share Ranrock's <laughs> views, then why are you helping me? I expected Rookwood Castle to be deserted when I arrived to begin my search. All right, while he's talking, I will be so right back. So surprised to find a witch there who had set up a sort of improvised research site. She was studying something so intently that she almost didn't notice me when she looked up i thought she would react with fear or disdain but instead she did something that i will never forget without a moment's hesitation she smiled and asked me to sit with her she told me that she was a researcher and showed me a small, oddly shaped container with a strange symbol on it. She was certain it was made of goblin metal, but was unable to open it. She wanted to work together. Miriam. Yes. But how did you... Professor Fig's wife. He told me of her research. And had to get another Mountain Dew. Ah. <sighs> Cheers. The reverence with which she talked of goblins and their intelligence and skill, it caught me entirely off guard. I'd never been treated with such respect by a witch or wizard. So, to my surprise, I let her study the container if she would allow me to search the castle on my own. We parted ways with her promising <clears throat> to share what she'd learned. More of Ranrock's recruits arrived, and we began to dig. Eventually, such a sad the story. First repository. Ranrock was thrilled with our discovery. 
but furious when I told him about Miriam. Berated me for trusting a witch when I heard she had been killed. You think Ranrock murdered her? I don't want to believe it. But I don't know. Stop it, Rob. I'm not After crying. I'm just cutting onions. I had seen how the power from the repositories was transforming Ranrock. Transforming all of them. I could no longer remain a part of it. <laughs> Thank you, Lord Gog, for telling me this. Hmm. I tell you all of this so that you understand what is at stake. <sighs> Ranrock never found all of Bragbor's journals, but the ones he did find suggest that Bragbor at some point built a repository far greater in size than the one beneath Rookwood Castle. Oh no. What you've discovered here today worries me deeply. If Ranrock learns of the location of that repository, I fear we shall be destined for a great war. I will find out what Ranrock knows. Watch for my owl. Zob Gabadigook. <clears throat> All right, let's see here. Uh... Probably all crap. Yep, all crap. Okay. I don't know, so I want to look and see about these challenges. Uh, still got more trolls. How many more Merlin trials do we need? Four. Okay. And nine more ancient hotspots. I still haven't figured out what that last one is. Because there's this last thing right here, and I don't know what that is. I totally forgot what I was looking for now. I hope Professor Fitz. I believe my next broom upgrade to be even more impressive than the last. Oh heck yeah. As soon as you can. I guess I've already done this one. Okay, uh, so we can go get a broom upgrade. That's awesome. What's up, Patrick? The game is amazing. I felt for years that many of the AAA games weren't worth the $60, but this one's worth every penny. They did a great job. Yeah, for real. As for me, I paid 70 for it. Hello again. Wonderful to see you. As before, I've arranged a special price on the broom. Holy you. crap. You'll be thrilled with that broom, I promise you. Four thousand galleons? Thanks for stopping by. Oh, you're all set with the new upgrade. I can't wait to hear what you think. <clears throat> This may sound presumptuous, but... You'd like me to report back with even more flight details? <laughs> <laughs> you know me well. I feel I'm... You think I'm saving gold? Yeah, no I kidding. I think I can improve broom flight a bit more. 
Miss Ray's is running a time trial at the South Coast course. Not ideal, really, what with rumours of Ramrock's lot and Ashwinders infiltrating the place. However, if you're flying high above them, you should be all right. I think. You think? <laughs> I'm not worried, Mr. Weeks. I'll see if I can find Imelda. I hope you are able to complete these trials. I have a feeling this final upgrade is going to be a sweeping success. Oh my god, really? Be careful, of course. I shall look forward to hearing from you soon. I look forward to our next meeting. All right, so where am I meeting Miss Reyes? Jesus. Jesus. I guess fortunately I've already traveled down this way. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased to be included. I'll be fast as hell, boy. <laughs> Uh, uh, uh. Da, 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 da. Just taking a weekend cruise along the coast. We'll come back to that because I want to get these balloons. This looks rather deserted. I hope everything's all right. I needed those. Cause I think I still have to kill like 30 more of those or something. What are these down here? Oh, measles. Again, Imelda. This course is a bit far. I forgot to look, also, isn't it? Obviously. Evidently too far for most of our classmates. Pathetic. They should be begging me to keep these trials alive. <laughs> not running scared. I'm surprised. Like how she called every one of them like pansies. Up. I suppose I appreciate the effort. That's actually a thank you. I know I'm being <laughs> impatient, but I get frustrated by those who don't take things as seriously as I do. And in my experience, that's everyone. Yep, see? She's calling everybody anyway, jerks. Don't let it go to your head. Right then, enough chatter. I'm confident I've posted a time you won't be able to beat. Oh, bring well, it on, woman. We'll fair, won't we? I'm ready. Get ready to lose, Ravenclaw. Going down, Slytherin. Me 
need it. Brilliant. Ba -ba -ba. Curse her before the race. <laughs> Brilliant flying, if I do say so myself. Well, I'm flying against her dummy. Brilliant. This race isn't that hard. That wasn't too difficult. Wow, the timing on that one, right? Brilliant. Ten more rings. Crushed her. That was quite something. Impressive work today, but don't get too comfortable. I'll be on your heels in no time. <laughs> My family's not going to believe the news when I tell them. They're almost as competitive as I am. Almost. <laughs> It's been fun competing against your records, Imelda. It has been fun. Glad you're here. Fifth year. I have a name. Bad for a Ravenclaw. Woman. You take care of yourself. Flight, the good flight achievement. <laughs> I should let Mr. Weeks know that this was his best upgrade yet. All right, let me see if there's a flu powder over here. Yes, there is. Da, 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 da. Fast as hell, boy. You can't imagine how inconvenient. And there's a Merlin trial right here. I know a Merlin trial when I see one. I don't know what to do here, though. Oh, it's the repair one. Okay. Repairer. It fly to Arby's? Heck yeah, dude. Merlin trials won't get the best of me. Only three more, and then I can get uh, the last expansion on my up or my inventory slots. These rocks have seen better days. Oh, and this is the Confringo one. Confringo. Confringo. 
Got him. All right, so where are the other ones at? Where are my rocks at? I don't see the other two rocks. I do see a chest, though. Like, am I just, am I blind? Okay, so there's the other two. After all, Merlin. I was blind. Yep, yep, yep. Blind. <clears throat> all right. Just while I'm over here, just might as well knock these things out. So. Ooh. I will definitely go over there. Infamous foe is I over there. This astronomy table will be best used when it's dark. Night time. It's one of those tables Professor Shaw mentioned. And then we'll go take on that infamous foe afterwards. Uh There we go. Lupus. Mm. How's everybody doing in the chat? place for an unaccompanied student oh man this looks like so much fun oh did he die oh Is that the best you got? You say get wrecked. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, a hello up there. Ah. Shame nobody saw that. Yeah, nobody saw that, chat. Nobody saw that. Explosive two. You saw it. Came down with a nice case of getting his butt kicked. Yeah. <laughs> I have to see, it again. see what? You did a little bit of this, huh? Come here. I have a gift for you. I don't like the looks of that encampment. What encampment? I just wrecked everybody in here. Confringo. Okay. The... There's another encampment here. Nice. Because the more of these I do, the more and more... Um, Skills I unlock. How you doing, Delhaven? You taking a break between classes? Abandoned long ago, no doubt. You don't say. <laughs> Uh, hello. Thank you. Oh, it's Cynthia. You're not something. It's a bit like you're being on fire, isn't it? Rookies don't go down easy. Played. The flames consume you. <laughs> you will not survive this, Katrina. What was that? What was that? You said I won't survive what? I think you just uh, proved yourself a liar there, bud. Could prove dangerous if I'm all right. Go back to arrest a momentum. Lumos, get out of here. You will not survive, becomes a barrel. Exactly. Yes. <laughs> Okay. That's one camp down. There's another camp here. Uh, whatever. So we'll continue with the quest because I want to get to the next trial. Which I think I'm almost there because I have to meet Professor Fig in the map chamber again. 
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. How's my favourite test flyer? Ooh. Interesting. Eh. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. And let me talk to you or what? There we go. Hello again, Mr. Weeks. I set a new record at the South Course. Fantastic! Your broom performed well then. The best upgrade yet. It flew beautifully, da -da -da -da. incredibly nimble. But with the speeds it now reaches, I can feel the wind catching beneath the seat a bit, preventing it from reaching its full potential. Of course! Should have anticipated that. Exactly the kind of report I've come to expect from you. At last, Nerd. I think I know what needs to be done for my final upgrade. I shall look forward to speaking again. I'll be sure to see. Don't forget, items can be upgraded I'll to finish. increase their base Thank stats. Yeah, I know. For your help. But I think that one was only barely like. I think that one was only barely like better than what I had. Uh, yeah. See, it was only five points more. Although that was five points in offense. So. Oh well. Okay, so we go back to Hogwarts. Discover this piece. <laughs> Barely, you say? Exactly. Thank you, Rob. Do make a good team. And we just got a new piece of gear that's better than what we have. So, uh, is it here? Yeah. Four points more in defense. Jesus. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> uh... Shoot, I forgot what I had in that other one. Unforgivable. Uh. Ooh. Go ahead and get that one upgraded. Okay. So, back to the quest. And we finished a challenge. Need five more astronomy tables. That's a cool cape. I definitely want to go after that. Oh, shoot. Look at this. Giggity. 69%. <laughs> Got him. Giggity. Giggity. Exactly. Thank you, thank you. I'm glad someone approves. Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Let's kill have it. Have a look at the map. Kill it. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs. Oh in the shoot! We get to go to the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival, and I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, 
is the next trial in the headmaster's office. It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. <laughs> You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very oh, well. shoot. We'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait. I'm looking forward to this, man. That boss fights are so much fun. How will I gain access? The final broom upgrade is better than even I expected. Stop by Spin Witches. Shoot, that was quick. Yes, please. Get that last broom upgrade. It's probably going to be like 10,000 galleons. Just watch. Okay, here I come. To hammer the buttons and wiggle the sticks. Oh, hello, again. Well, hello, Rose. The broom upgrade Thank you for subscribing, order. Rose. As always, I have a special prize for you. Look <laughs> at 7,500 galleons. I truly enjoyed working with you. Thank you for believing in me. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Cool, now we got the last upgrade for our broom. Hello, Rose. How are you? Speak to the Hufflepuff and the astronomy wing. Yeah, in time. You see a cult? Yes. Well, not today. My webcam's off, but. Just discovering me and eating lunch. Well, that's well, welcome, welcome, welcome. Yeah, I've been playing the hell out of this game, so. Oh, don't mind me, Professor Fig. I was just taking a nap. Don't worry. Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgog and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drones. That pink to hair, man. I just can't get over the pink hair. seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And, sir, there's something else. Lodgog knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She it's was getting deep research. though, Rose. That's where she found the container with the port key. He liked her so much that he let her leave with it, despite orders from Ranrock. I don't know what to say. She could win over almost anyone. I want to said eating more. lunch. And in fact, I'd like to speak with Lodgok directly. But we've no time now. Where is the next trial? Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well. You'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know the headmaster's house elf. Will he even speak to me? I imagine he's loyal to the headmaster. He is. So you'll need a disguise. I have just the thing. Oh, snap. Polyjuice. Potion. You'll look and sound like Professor Black. Wait. Doesn't Polyjuice potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? And take ages to brew? It does. So how do you already have Polyjuice Potion to change into Professor Black? One never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything <laughs> after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, time is of the essence. Drink up and I shall explain more. Oh boy. Eating rice with Chinese, cabbage and eggs. Nice. That sounds delicious, actually. Probably not Phoenix eggs. Well, I do have a dragon egg. Incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope. Who could be anywhere in the castle you might look for professor kagawa she's taken to badgering the poor elf about quidditch in the hopes that he can <laughs> convince black to change his mind thus far unsuccessfully 
I see. But what if Professor Black sees me? Leave him to me. Not a cannibal. <laughs> oh, that's true. I'm sorry. in Hogsmeade. That should give you plenty of time. Thank you, Professor. I suppose we'll meet again in the map chamber. It's rather strange to hear gratitude coming from Professor Black. <laughs> I'll see you there. Now to find the headmaster's house elf. Now I wonder if they're like the other students are going to react as I'm walking by as Professor Black. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor, I was hoping to catch you. I Oh, I um places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only <clears throat> you'd asked <laughs> me about a particular potion and I give you tips for this well, one I... fun short quest. I did. And what is that? Yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak freely. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boils you wanted. I can drop it by your office when it's convenient. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. <laughs> Very well, sir, if you insist. I do. And thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for Wander a bit further boils. instead going to your destination and get more laughs. Now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. You call that a shine on those boots? Do better. <laughs> Has anyone seen my ivory handled hand mirror? Of course you haven't. I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. Yeah, who do you think I am, jerk? Uh. We can peeves. It is not on your nose. All you'd want to know. That's hilarious, though. All the students aren't reacting like I thought they would, though. Oh, my exams. Uh. Ooh. A dimmy, guys. Oh, I can't. I can't wait while I'm in this farm. Okay. What are you talking about? Oh, these jerks. <laughs> Dude, I'm just so impressed about how they did Hogwarts, though, because Hogwarts is so big. Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? <laughs> I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I, <laughs> I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes. Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache paste. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you, I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. <laughs> Stand something is very wrong with you. Professor, a word? 
Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. Come on! We, we could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, yes, all the lemons. more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our pitch. I dare say it knocked some sense into them. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... <laughs> you are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and Sports at the Ministry about you. Yeah, you tell him. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, where is my elf? I... Parchment? Very well, I will, and with pleasure. <laughs> spotted Scrope in the Great Hall seems to be avoiding me. Hmm, I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Oh, this is great. What did we do to deserve him as a headmaster? If you must speak with me, consult my secretaries or what have you. Now move along. <laughs> what in the hell? Why? Have you ever flown over the Black Lake and seen a <laughs> like, where, Why can't I learn those spells? Like, what the? Uh. I hope it's not about anything I've been doing. Become Spider Man? That's what I'm saying. Why can't I do that? When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I, uh, I... Professor, a word, please. Wow, well, beat the hell out of each other. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor ah. Weasley. How, <laughs> how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. Oh, this is great. Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. Ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time no. the fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumors of their escapades. Like his push, see you later. All right, have a good night, Rose. Forest, Thank you so much. Ranrock's loyalists and Rookwood's lot. What? <clears throat> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. <laughs> I, well, I, um, thank you. But I'm happy to look into... Uh, good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. <laughs> See, I, I'm just... A like, the armor, man. Leeway for Professor Fig? I shall never understand that man. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. And the Great Hall is gorgeous. Wait until Master sees what a wonderful job Scrope is doing. Jesus. Ahem. Screw. Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scrope swear never to tell anyone. Even Master himself. How dare you question me? <laughs> I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. It is the black family motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. <laughs> it's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. It is always pure. <laughs> Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Ah, yes, of course. Uh, <laughs> I order you Jesus. to pronounce it for me. 
Oh, but Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. Oh, uh, very well. Toujours pur. Ha! Thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or anyone else. Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. <laughs> Oh my gosh. The polyjuice potion's wearing off. I best get out of sight. <laughs> Run! Oh, made it just in time. It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. Revelio. Huh. A little more. Boom. All a bunch of junk. Confringo. I do love these brassiers, man. They're so gorgeous. Can do it? You gonna do it? Guess not. I still think this is one of the most helpful things ever is like when you open up your book and it just puts this gold path for you. Interesting. I didn't realize I had missed that door. Eh, while we're here, we might as well solve it. Okay, so... That's nine. The Hydra looking thing. That's zero, one, two, three, twelve. So seven. So it's the alien looking thing. Uh, fifteen plus two. Seventeen six. Zero, one, two, six. So a lizard. So where is the other one? Oh, it's right there. And what say we needed this one? Oh, the alien looking thing. Yeah, the funny thing is I keep hearing like a, a chime thing up, but I just don't know where to get it up there. And I know I can fast travel, it's just I enjoy roaming the castle. What are you up to now? Huh. Holy mother of ray tracing. Alohomora. Ba, ba, ba. Revelio. All right.
Oh, there's another door. Huh. I'm glad I went back and looked. Rebellion. Where the hell is it? Gotta be in there. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Tujil Pure. Do you think that uh, Professor Dumbledore changed it? I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Revelio. Oh my god, they are all sleeping. And this dude over here. Oh, I thought he had his finger up his nose. Dude, where is this at? Probably all different. Yeah, probably. Revelio. Oh, of course, a level three lock. Another level three lock. Ah, uh, it's bothering me because it's so close. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. I suspect and there's the sorting hat. I'm reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? In a spot of tea? That must be the pedestal. Revelio. Oh, and there's the uh the visive. I think it's funny the sorting hat right there, that's cool. In the hell? Professor Fitzgerald, can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Whoa! That's so freaking cool.
around when I could. I'd be free by now. And I can't use Revelio. They're gone. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? I need to time this just right. I see. Oh. A staircase straight ahead. Where? This is so cool. I definitely did not expect this. How could this happen? This is precisely the reason why I've been trying to avoid people's streams, man. Because I just didn't want to ruin it for myself. Oh yeah, of course. Just Throw some dogs in the mix while it while you're at it, yeah. I'd best move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Ugh. I like this part. It definitely looks cool, that's for sure. Oh, no. Come on, Shadow. Move! This way, but more danger. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Oh, closed tight. That doorway looks like the only safe way forward. Oh, jeez. Ah! Uh. I got caught. I suppose that doorway looks like the only safe way forward. So how am I supposed to do this then? Oh, there we go. Now's my chance. No, no, no! That's the way forward. <laughs> Can this be? I think I'm invisible.
Oh, I have to. I guess I gotta go the other way. Can get closer to them. Shoot, yes. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are. <clears throat> You have outrun death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Oh crap. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. Elder Wand! Such power. Uh. Yeah, that makes sense. Good lord, man. I feel so powerful. So powerful. Yeah, I don't need any of those where I'm going. That's probably a boss, huh? Oh, Jesus.
Oh, damn it. Get out of here, troll. Two trolls now. Killing it. Dude, that elder wand is ridiculous. Am I getting all of the freaking the three brothers? Is that what's happening right now? You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. She's gone. Oh, poor Nick. <laughs> we won't be the same without her. I'm tired of your crap, Death. I think I got that wrong in the quiz earlier. Oh, I definitely you did. Me. But you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Dude, this is so no freaking cool, man. Shadow, as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Teardrop of white. My character looks hideous in this world. <laughs> Ancient magic. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable wasn't it and percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves i found a way <clears throat> to clean all of it you haven't stopped goblin silver you spoke to a goblin about this don't worry he has no idea what we're containing we don't know what effect any of this may have the emotions the dark traits you sound like percival and as it happens i do know it is a source of strength. Voldemort! Focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with. 
in the wrong hands I, I, did I still wish that they would fix these cutscenes. Imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind Like I don't know if they did it on purpose or not, but This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. She tried to take your soul, woman. <laughs> Oh, what the hell? Revelio. Huh. Also, that shiny running up the stairs hallway to the headmaster's office. Dude, I'm saying. Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? But yeah. It is, and I have. But you are so... Young. I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. <laughs> I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power, and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than repulsed. <laughs> I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of power. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to Dude, wait. this story is so good, man. Nonetheless, the knowledge you Give shall me the or else. witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. This guy. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power? She was, and she pulled emotions as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in Goblin Silver. The repositories? Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganak? Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. Perhaps. Mm -hmm. I hope to hear from Lord Gok soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I have no <laughs> idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. <laughs> awesome. Oh, boy. Dude, this game, man. Prepare for the owls. Oh, great. I shouldn't have reacted so bitterly about your goblin friend. I apologize. I hope we can finish what we started with the triptych. Please meet me at the southern coast. 
can search for the final canvas piece. Oh? So Professor Weasley just popped up and said nothing? <laughs> Ooh. That's kind of funny. She popped up because, but I'm assuming this is where we start to get the Phoenix because it's called Phoenix Rising. So. But yeah. I do believe this is where I'm going to call it for the night, though. So we will continue this on Saturday. Like I said, uh, for all of you that are watching, though, I'm going to be looking at doing another key giveaway for this on Saturday or Sunday. Um, I guess whichever is better for everyone and when I see the most representation. So I want to say thank you guys so much for watching and sticking around with me for these last almost five hours. But we will continue this on Saturday. I won't be able to play tomorrow because I have duty on my ship and a bunch of other stuff going on. So, but yeah, like I said, we'll continue this on Saturday and go, I guess, for the net of the last trial. So, hope you guys have a wonderful night. I'm going to look and see if there's anybody that I can send you guys over to. Uh, let's see. Yeah. So, Squirrel is live right now. And uh, I'll send you, send you guys over his way. So thank you guys so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Goodbye, everyone.